Xander Holt here, the primal sex expert. Today I'm going to talk about how long can the average man stay erect when these alpha inhibitors are blocking your lasting power. In this video, I'm going to talk about, first of all, what determines how long a man can stay erect. Secondly, I'm going to talk about the different types of erections and how they tend to last for different durations. And thirdly, I'm going to talk about how frequently these erections happen for most men. And as an added bonus, in a moment, I'm going to show you how you can determine what is likely causing you specifically to lose your erection quicker than you or your partner would like. Because when it comes to the lasting power of erections, it varies a lot, both between men and within a single man. Because the average man can last anywhere from a few minutes to as much as 30 to 45 minutes before they lose erection. Dependent upon a variety of factors, such as your health, your age, your level of arousal, how turned on you are, your sexual activity, are you masturbating or with an actual sexual partner? How often are you having sex? What is your mental and emotional state like? But lasting power is also dependent upon the type of erection you're experiencing. Because there's three basic types of erections, and lasting power can vary a lot between these erection types. First of all, we got morning wood, also known as nocturnal erections. Now, most men will experience three to five of these erections during the night, lasting anywhere from 10 to 35 minutes. And these tend to be longer erections for a lot of men because they don't require any sort of arousal and they happen automatically. Like the second type of erection, reflexive erections. These happen spontaneously throughout the day with or without arousal. And they often happen when you have a strong need to urinate. Now these occur more frequently in men in their teens and 20s than they do in older men. And sexual erections are the third type, also known as psychogenic erections. Now, these do require arousal, such as sexual stimulation, memory of a sexual event, or some sort of sexual fantasy you're having. These tend to be shorter than morning wood for a lot of men because they require many more biochemicals and factors than morning wood does, such as arousal. So they're much more susceptible to performance anxiety, which, which is why they tend to be shorter erections for a lot of men. Now, on average, a man can, will experience about 11 erections during the day and three to five at night. But there is a such thing as too much of a good thing because there's priapism, which is lasting too long. And this will happen a lot with ED drugs where you have an erection that can last more than four hours. This happens when the blood gets trapped in the penis and can't flow back out. And this can permanently damage your penis, can even lead to amputation, which almost happened to a friend of mine when he injected himself with Trimix and his erection lasted for more than 12 hours. So how do we fix this? Well, there's a variety of things we can do. One of which is you want to get more foreplay in and really get lost in the pleasure of that foreplay, which will amplify your arousal, which will help your erections. Also, really knowing what you truly want sexually and then going for it, which will greatly ramp up your arousal. As well as eating nutritive foods, being active, getting restful sleep, and avoiding alcohol and tobacco. But the most powerful and the most important is to know what your primary core alpha inhibitor is. Which is why I added this special bonus to this video where you can take the Xander Holt assessment, which takes less than 60 seconds, and it will tell you what your primary core alpha inhibitor is. And this will allow you to start pinpointing what will help you specifically. All right, that's it for this video. If you like this video, like it, hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you'll get uh, notified of future uh, videos that are coming up because we've got lots more coming up. The next video is going to be on how many guys have seven inches or longer and the five things that are more important than the length 
of your member. I'll see you in the next video.